All right. Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakudas, the honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Hey, that scattered abroad. The correct name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who this word only calls God. The correct name for his only begotten son is Yahweh Shah, who this word only calls Jesus. Bahashem is in the name. Rechak with is through the Holy Spirit. All right, this is the brother Yohanathan coming back with another lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shah. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, and just meditating, you know. The, 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 the times we in the heavy you know times we in through the spirit and there was something that i heard you know in the world or it's a you know a urban slang you know and it's called dead time you know dead time is really preferred unto those you know that's in prison all right because you know you know they locked up and the scripture speaks about how our people are in uh prison houses you know that's in the book of isaiah but nevertheless the term dead time and hey, that sparked me, you know, through the Holy Spirit to make this lesson because, you know, like like the elder Apostle Tahar says, how we're supposed to filter everything through the, uh, you know, filter everything through the scriptures, you know, in dead time. Like that's a representation, you know, of those that's in the world. That's a representation of those that's not seeking your how about your mouth shy. Hey, they have dead time, their own dead time, you know, especially. You know, we know Esau and these other nations are, you know, specifically on dead time because, hey, their 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 time of ruling is gonna come to an end. But nevertheless, man, you know, our people that have chosen to, you know, participate and partake in this world, hey, they on dead time, man. It's only a matter of time, you know, to the heavenly Father, since His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Hey, not only to uh, take down this wicked kingdom, all right, but to, but to restore the kingdom, all right? Restore the kingdom and establish it on hey, this planet Earth, okay? So, I want to begin with the book of Ecclesiastes, okay? Ecclesiastes, uh, the 12th chapter. And it reads, remember now, remember now thou, Shalak, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Okay, and hey, this is what it tells us to do to remember, you know, the, the creator, the heavenly father, Yahweh. And not only just Yahweh, but his only begotten son in the days of our youth, man. Okay, because a matter of fact, the scripture is going to say it. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You see, so we want to remember the creator in the days of our youth because a lot of people don't think that. Hey, these prophecies, not only these prophecies, a lot of, of our people don't think that, hey, Yahweh Shah is returning in their lifetime. A lot of people just think that, hey, they're in the spirit of Second Peter, the third chapter. You know, those that say, hey, where's the promise of his coming? Where's the promise of his coming? And we ultimately know that hey, Yahweh Shah is going to return. <laughs> it is written, okay, how the Heavenly Father is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. Not only again to destroy this wicked society, this wicked kingdom, our right, but, but to establish His kingdom here on the planet Earth again. All right, and if you're in the world, if you're entangled, or you know your your mind is on the affairs, or if your mind is on the cares of this world, all right, you're on dead time, man. If you're in the world celebrating, living it up, like hey, like nothing is happening. You're on dead time. If you went back, if you once were enlightened with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, and you go back into this world, you're on dead time, man. If you're thinking that you're going to, you know, live this lavish lifestyle here in America, all right, and you think you're going to, you know, another 30 years, you're going to watch your kids, you're on dead time, man. All right, it's only a matter of time again hey, when the Lord is going to hey, return unto this place, man, and set it back in this right order. Hey, and this is what we waiting for, man. Hey, brothers that sincerely, sincerely and truthfully seeking Yahweh Bashmal Shah. Hey, man, we can't wait until that time happens, man. We can't wait until the Lord returns, man. You know, sometimes you have to hey, stay in the spirit daily. You know, you got to tap into the spirit daily because hey, this wicked world will consume you. 
And that's why it says in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, hey, how this is a, a, a spiritual warfare, man. Okay? This is a, a spiritual wickedness in high places, man. And this is what we got to combat. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Every time you walk around or any time, you know, you in the streets or whatever the case may be, you know, you, you know, you, it's sodomized near you, man. And not only just sodomites, but um, not only just sodomites, but hey, you got butchers. And if, you know, I don't want the page to get striped or this lesson to get taken down for the butch, it's the it's opposite of a sodomite, just in a woman's form, okay? Really a sodomite, but just in a woman's form, all right? Not only we're tired of that, we're tired uh, of Esau being in rule, all right, so-called white man being in rule, man. Okay, so, you know, we can't wait until the Lord sets his righteousness back upon the planet Earth, man. Okay, and if you're and if you're a man and you once came into this truth and went back into this world, man, hey, man, this says how you're going to get beaten with many stripes, man. Okay, so, so like you from rambling. But um, let me get... Let me get the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah, the first chapter. And let me get to the point. All right, Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 12. And it says, And that shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. Okay? Meaning what? He's going to uh, 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 Jerusalem being a people before it's a place. All right? And it says, And punish them. It's like, And punish the men that are settled on their leaves, man. So you got individuals men women are right, that are settled on their leaves they're okay here in america you know they're fine they don't they, they don't care whenever the lord's return they're just settled here man you know they're on dead time okay because again dead time is basically <laughs> you know time is supposed to advance time you know the, the, the you know when you really think about it prophecy comes within time right uh, Amos, not Amos, Habakkuk, the third, I mean, the second chapter and the third verse. All right, so basically, within these prophecies, it plays out within time. But you got certain individuals that are on dead time. And again, meaning that they're going to get destroyed at the end of the day. So the time, what they're doing with their time is useless. You know, Lord willing, this is received, man. All right, I'm just putting my two cents, you know, and adding it in a lesson for those. Hey, that may think it's edifying, man. All right, but nevertheless, it says, And it shall come to pass that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Okay? Doesn't it say in the book of Amos how they, uh, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man? So a lot of our people really don't think that the Heavenly Father is going to do what he says he's going to do, man. In the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, it speaks about a time like never before. And not only in the book of Daniel, but in the book of Matthew, a time like never before. The book of 2nd Ezra, our prophetic scriptures, man, which are about to play out on the planet Earth, man. Okay, things that we, we things which we have never seen in our life in our lifetime is going to play out on the planet Earth, man. Things which we have seen in movies are going to play out on the planet Earth. Got certain individuals are acting as if nothing's gonna happen in their own dead time. Okay, hey brothers, that's sincerely hey, seeking your how about your mouth, sir. Hey, the Lord that that uh, you know which the Lord has put his Holy Spirit upon those men. All right, brothers know these things are gonna happen. Okay, and that's why they're preparing ourselves. Isn't that what the scriptures tells us to do? All right, to uh, to prepare ourselves. Let's get the book of Luke. Luke the 21st chapter. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. And it says, watch ye therefore and pray always. You see, watch ye therefore. And this is what we do with our time, okay? You know, we're watching, constantly watching, constantly um, examining, okay? Constantly, you know, being circumspect within the times which we are in. And it says, uh, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be able to, that ye may slack it, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the things, to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Oh, 
So, hey, it's a lot of things which is about to come to pass, man. There's about to be, again, a time like never before, man, upon this planet Earth. And we want to make sure that we're in the good grace of your how about small shot in those times, man. Whether people believe it or not, you know, we want to make sure hey, that the Lord is having mercy on those brothers, man. Because not only is the Lord going to, not only is the Heavenly Father going to send his sword, which is Esau, to tread down the wicked of our people. All right, but many, many of the men of the Lord are going to have to put their life, you know, they're going to have to lay their life down. All right. So, again, dead time, man, dead time.